Hello dear, so as I've mentioned before, some of the questions that we solved in the examples are actually jam pass questions and how would you know? All the questions that had options in them are actually jam pass questions. So now we're going to try to solve some additional questions just to cover everything that we've learned in this section. So let's start out. So this first question asks us to simplify this expression here. How do we go about simplifying this? So we know we found to find the cube root of 64a to the power of 3 always to the power of minus 1. So what does the cube root means? The cube root means one number would then multiply 3 times to get that number. So for example, the cube root root of 64 is 4 because 4 times 4 times 4 will give me 64 so the cubic root of 64 is 4 and what is the cubic root of a cube the cubic root of a cube is a because a times a times a will give me a cube so i'm left with 4a always to the power of minus 1 and from the law of indices we recall that if you have a negative sign i want to move it it's the same thing as finding the reciprocal so this is equals to what 1 over 4a so what option is that c so the answer to this question is c 1 over 4a now let's move on to the next question it says solve without using tables log 5 62.5 minus log half to base 5 so how do we go about solving this so if you recall from a law of log with him what do we do when we have a minus sign we divide if we recall we have log m to base a minus log n to base a is equals to what log m divided by log divided by n to base a so in this case since you have a minus sign this expression is the same as writing log 62.5 divided by 1 over 2 to the base of 5 and what would that give me that would be log to change it to multiply i will turn this upside down to so 62.5 then times 2 base of 5 and what would that give me log 62.5 times 2 will give me 125 to base 5 so how do i simplify log 125 to base 5 so i first ask myself can i write 125 in terms of 5 and the answer is yes so 125 is the same thing as 5 cube so i can write 5 to the power of 3 to base 5 and if you remember our power rule in log with the when i have log of a number with an exponent same thing as bringing the exponent to the back so this is equal to 3 log 5 to base 5 and if you remember the logarithm of a number to a base if the number and the base are the same is equals to 1 so this is the same as saying 3 times 1 and that is equals to 3 so in this case the answer is what a 3 so now let's move on to the third question that we're we'll trying to attempt it says we should evaluate log we should evaluate log a raised to power n to b base b if b is equals to a raised power 1 over n so what are we going to do first and foremost we'll have to write a in terms of b so to do that in this expression that we're giving here that we're giving that b is equals to a raised power 1 over n we try to make a this way of formula and if you will call you do that by multiplying the exponent of both sides by the reciprocal of the exponent of a so what is the reciprocal of 1 over n the reciprocal of 1 over n is n over 1 so you multiply the exponent here and multiply the exponent here which is 1 times n so now this will cancel this so i have b raised by n is equals to a or a is equals to b raised by n so now that i've gotten the value of a i can substitute it in my logarithm or the expression i was given so I was given that log a now will be b raised per n, always per n towards base b. And if you remember from our law of 
in this is where we say if you have a number let's say x prime number x raised power a raised power b is the same thing as having x raised power a times b so in this case this is the same thing as having log b raised power n times n base of b and that will be equals to what log b to the base of b and n times n is what n squared and if you remember our exponent rule is the same thing as bringing this exponent term to the back so this is the same as saying n squared log b to base b and if you recall if the number and the base are equal the log name of that number will be equals to one so this is the same thing as saying n squared times one and which is equals to n squared so the answer to this question is a Now let's try to solve this question. So here we are asked to rationalize this term. And as we have been told, this sort rather to rationalize a sort with a binomial sort, what we have to do is to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. Now, what is the conjugate of the denominator? The conjugate of P minus root 5, as you will know, is what? P plus root 5. So we multiply the numerator and denominator by this term. So we have 2 minus root 5 over 3 minus root 5, then times the conjugate is 3 plus root 5 over 3 plus root 5. And we'll now try to expand. So to expand this term, go to our normal expansion process. We say 2 times 3, 2 times 3 will give us 6. I will say 2 times root 5, 2 times root 5 give us plus 2 root 5. Now we say minus root 5 times 3, that will give us minus 3 root 5. And we say minus root 5 times root 5, we know that root 5 times root 5 give us 5, but there is a minus times plus to give us a minus, so this will be what? Minus 5. And now for the denominator, all we have to do is just the difference of 2 squared, so we have 3 squared minus root 5 squared so what so what do we have now so what we have now is if we call it like times we have 6 minus 5 which is what 1 then we have 2 minus 3 which is what minus root 5 and we have 3 squared which is what 9 and root 5 squared which is equal to 5 so this is equals to 1 minus root 5 over 9 minus 5 is 4. And what option corresponds to that? B. So the right answer is B. 1 minus root 5 over 4. And now we're considering this last example and it has also to do with rationalization of sort. But now this question is interesting because of the form of the question. And in this question, we are so that if this can be written as this, we should find the values of m and n. So our aim is to simplify this expression to this term. And when we can compare with this, we can read out the value of m and n. So to do that first, we need to rationalize this. So and we rationalize this by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. Now we know that the conjugate of the denominator, which is root 3 plus 2 root 2, is equal to what? root 3 minus 2 root 2 so we multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate so we, so we have this is the conjugate and now is equals to sign so we have 2 root 3 minus root 2 over root 3 plus 2 root 2 that will be times root 3 plus 2 root 2 Sorry, this is going to be minus because I have to multiply by the conjugate. So let me print that. So now I have minus then over root 3 minus I have 2 root 2 and there's a 2 here. So all I have to do now is just to expand. And to expand that, I say 2 root 3 times root 3. I know that root 3 will multiply root 3 to give me 3. Then 2 times 3 will give me 6. I have to multiply this term by this term here. So I'll multiply the whole number, which is what? 2 by 2. 2 by 2 will give me what? 4. And there's a minus there. So I have minus 4. And 
in the square root half 3 and 2 so 3 times 2 will give me what root 6 so now I must slide this term and this term here so I have minus root 2 times root 3 so 2 times 3 will give me 6 so this will give me what minus root 6 and finally I have minus root 2 times minus 2 root 2 I know that root 2 times root 2 will give me 2 and 2 times 2 will give me 4 and minus times minus will give me plus so this will be plus 4 and the denominator will just be difference of the two square so I have root 3 squared minus 2 root 2 squared so what does this simplify to 6 plus 4 is 10 minus 4 root 6 minus root 6 will give me minus 5 root 6 then over the square root of 3 squared will give me 3 and 2 squared will give me 4 root 2 squared will give me 2 then 4 times 2 will give me 8 so I have minus 8 so this becomes what 10 minus 5 root 6 over minus 5 so now I have to just divide each term by minus 5 which is the same thing as saying I have um, 10 over minus 5 then minus 5 5 root 6 over minus 5 and what would that be 10 over minus 5 give me minus 2 then minus 5 divided by minus 5 give me plus root 6 so now I'm told that this is equal to this so now I can write this expression now under this goes to m plus n root 6 so when I compare these together I see that m is equals to minus 2 and n is equals to 1 since there's a 1 there so my m is equals to minus 2 and my n is equals to 1 so the value of m and n respectively are minus 2 and 1 so the answer to this question is b so as you can see solving swords in jump is actually a pretty simple thing to do provided you understand the concept so especially the concepts of rationalization and conjugate sort so i would suggest that you go to the past question now and try to solve more questions that are relating to swords and also try to attempt the question that are in the exercise section so that'll be all for now